negative 16. She's about negative 25, negative 30. God's country. How can you beat it? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Here's what we're gonna do. I want about 90% of them facing dead into the wind, because even yesterday they were dead into the wind pretty much. I'm gonna walk out, make a mark there. We'll start stuffing some in this corn, face them all this way. The pocket's gonna be straight out, probably from his back truck tire there. Let's keep that pure snow. Don't like walk up the corn and go out, walk this way and go out and we'll keep that middle just pure snow. We'll set them all this way and after we get this trailer out, we'll pull Shannon's up and get it. All right, first couple weeks of January, about a couple thousand birds feeding in this field. They're kind of just using this to loaf and they're bouncing back and forth between the water and here. And they're going to corn later in the afternoon. There's really no hide, 300 acre field and it's solid snow. There's no edges or anything. We found a good edge right here, kind of along the edge of a creek and a fence line. We got some panel blinds out. Just try to set a big massive spread, get high visibility out here. Got a bunch of good collars and a bunch of guns running. We should, we should do pretty good. Bird's been moving, it's like 20 below right now. They've been moving nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. Might push them back an hour or so today, but uh, got it set up here. We're gonna try to get them to finish right along this edge and should be good 20 yard shots or so. Hopefully we get into them good. So what we got, we got the wind kitty corner off us out of the Northwest today. A lot of the birds coming from the Southeast and straight West. We're utilizing the, the edge row. So what we're trying to do is anytime you hunt an edge row, you can't necessarily push the decoys too far out because they'll still, you know, necessarily might get out in the middle of the field. So what we're doing is we're stretching them lengthwise. As you can see, they're running north up this field and they're running south. These geese are coming in and landing in the smooth stuff and then getting up and going into the corn. So it's a natural activity they're, they're doing this time of year. But that's a good tip is run them along the fence line for visibility, not outward. Uh, because you're gonna get short stopped a few times even if you are a good caller some flocks are gonna short stop you So we're just spreading them out north to south or right in the middle sleeper shells in the pocket we we'll probably put them right in the middle and try to you know 25 to 35 yards today is our uh, is our honey spot Run them right in that pocket right there What are you thinking, Austin Coffin? I'm just glad it's not cold this morning. <laughs> so, we're all somewhere in Nebraska. It's 20 below. Bluebird day. These things have been hitting like bean fields, wheat fields, and then they've been moving into corn later in the day because it's been colder. Kind of slow coming off the river. No hideout in the middle of the field, so we're moving off to the edge. Throwing pretty big numbers and gonna strong arm them. Night, night. <laughs> Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. 
it's cold, it's late, it's cold, and it's just 100% premium classics. The old boys. Doesn't get better. No better than this. Sometimes, you know, when you have 14 guys, you bust into a bunch and there's more coming, you try to pick up fast. And one of the last birds of the day we picked up, she was banded, they called her in, she was banded about six years ago, local goose here. And uh, this is a phenomenal day. Probably 700 pounds of dead geese here. Not much you can say about that. 